Welcome back to Romany's Realm. I'm Romany and hopefully this is working blog style. We'll give it a go anyway. <laughs> Today I wanted to talk to you about the Bullet Journal Companion app. I've had a lot of questions about the app because I said I was using it. It costs money in the App Store, both iOS and Android. I don't know how much it is in the US, but it is £2.99 in the UK, which is reasonable for an app reasonable for a purchase of an app I, I don't mind paying three pounds once if I'm going to use it the question is are you going to use it first off it's not it's not an alternative if you want a digital bullet journal there are other programs that you can look into such as Google Keep Microsoft OneNote uh, even GoodNotes on iOS is better for that kind of thing and the key reason for that is that the app deletes everything after 48 hours. We'll come back to that in a second because when I heard that, I was like, <coughs> I'm sorry, what? <laughs> How is that useful? Well, it is useful, actually. It's useful for a very specific reason. First off, let's get my app up and check out our amazing artwork. This awesome little thing is the One Book July doodle from Little Raven Inc. It's over on her Patreon or will be when she releases her collage sheets. At the moment I have a pink one but she knows I don't like pink so you know what she's done? She's made me an ugly orange one. She calls it ugly orange. I like the orange but it says on here One Book July, One Book to Rule Them All and the little monster is holding up his traveller's notebook. The dog is one that I put on there just because I like dogs and it's cute. Anyway, I just thought I'd show you that. So if you're interested in that, go and see Little Raven Inc's Patreon, uh, patreon.com, Little Raven Inc. And uh, that's one, that's her calendar image for the month of July. I don't know if she's going to release it separately. Uh, since it's a one book July one, she might put it on partner Etsy. I don't know. I will find out for you. This is the bullet journal app. This is what it opens as. And as with all things bullet journal, it's black and white and it's very simple. It's functional takes a little getting used to, but it works for this. In a lot of the interviews I've seen Ryder do, he talks about the bullet journal as being modular. And he mentions it in the book as well, that it's all built up of these little pieces like tasks and notes and events and collections and journaling and all this kind of stuff that you put together and you add on or take away what you don't need and if you need something extra like a particular type of tracker or something like that then you bolt it onto the side so he obviously as a, a digital designer and an app designer and website designer his concept of making things is you start with the thing and you improve it as you go. You don't try and start with perfection. You start with a workable, usable thing. And then somebody says, oh, I could do with this. And so you go, OK, I can do that. Da -da 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 -da, and you bolt it on. OK, and that's how you need to think of the digital version of the bullet journal. It's called the bullet journal companion app, not the bullet journal app. We tend to think of apps as being Oh, there's an app for that. <laughs> you know, it does it instead of. That's not what it's about. So when you open the app, you've got uh, various different things here. You've got a help section that tells you how to use the app. There is the log, which I'll come back to. There is the store, which is exactly what it sounds like. If you want to buy your bullet journal or your bullet journal method book, you can get it there. There is a guide, which is a little bit of... I think it was written before the book so that it's kind of how to use the bullet journal companion how to use the bullet journal just general information it's not quite as technical as the help section the guide is more about bullet journaling as opposed to the help section being about the app there's an article section which is actually the same as the blog on the website so if you follow that you'll know what's in there there's the library which is your own bullet journals and then there's a reflection Two are important for everyday use. Two are important for regular check-ins. The articles are well worth reading. They come up with a little star next to them when there's a new article. 
so you don't have to keep checking yesterday a little star came up and when i went into here it said there was a new article called the bullet journal method travels and if you are one of the people who has said to me or anybody else i'm really enjoying this bullet journal method the book I've also got the audiobook, so when I'm finished with mine, I'm going to pass it on to so-and-so, or I'm really enjoying this, I think my grandchildren could make use of this, I'm going to give them copies for Christmas or whatever. I strongly suggest you read this article, it's called The Bullet Journal Method Travels, and it explains his philosophy for giving away copies of his book, and it talks about a book contract. Please go and read it if you're going to, or if you are thinking of gifting a copy of the bullet journal method to somebody else because it's a great idea. I'm not going to spoil it for you. Go read the article. The library gives you an opportunity to literally index your bullet journals. So volume one, that's this, starts June 2019 and I left the end date closed because I don't know when it's going to finish. So it currently says July 2019. Yesterday, it said June 2019, so I assume that that month changes as you go along until you tell it that you've started your new book. You have various ways of viewing it. You've got a list, you've got a grid by cover, or you've got tags. So you can add a new bullet journal. It automatically starts with the current month and it automatically creates a new one for you. I'm not going to do that because I'm not on volume two yet. This is my volume one, and as you can see, I've put in a picture on the front. Now, this is not this bullet journal. This is not the other one that I was using just because I wanted to test the app. I didn't have this one at the time. So that's the cover. And here I can bin that cover and take a new one. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go into the cover. I'm going to take a photo of the cover. There we go. There's my cover. I'll keep that. And you can also add index pages. You start off with four index pages, but I'm sure I started off with three index pages. And when I added one, it gave me another one automatically. So I think you always have an extra one at the end. Now you can also add tags to your journal. So in here, I've simply tagged it with Bujo Method because we're doing the book this month and One Book July 2019 because it's One Book July 2019. I can add various tags that are relevant. Now, obviously, all of my journals are going to have future logs, daily logs, journal entries. They're not all going to have Urban Sketches Stoke necessarily. So there's a tag. U.S.K. Stoke 2019. And that is actually the summer programme. So there's my tag. Now, when I've got multiple journals, say when I've got five journals at some point, I can click on Studio Vision Board and see if that comes up anywhere else. And there is an option to add specific pages. So you, if you've got a very important page, like say you've got a list of all your med medications you take or your child has seizures and you've got all their medical information you can take a photo of that and put it in the app as well so you can use it for really important things that you want to have always with you the next important thing is the log you don't have to open the app to use the log there's a widget <laughs> yes i was very happy about that too so you can log a new task note or event and the bullet journal log looks exactly the same here it's very classily done i love this a task add a task done add a note add a note done and so on now just next to it it'll say 48 hours that is a ticking clock and when it gets to one it deletes However, what I found is that every six hours, it reminds you that you have things in here. X amount of tasks are about to be deleted in 22 hours was the last one I saw. And I thought, ooh, haven't I done that since yesterday? I'll do it now. Five minutes later, delete, delete, job done. 
This is proving really handy because as I mentioned in previous videos, this book is going everywhere with me. My phone goes absolutely everywhere with me. If I just excused myself to the bathroom right now, I probably wouldn't take my book with me, but I would definitely take my phone. I live on my own. I always take my phone with me just in case. So having the bullet journal on here means that when I'm doing something where taking my bullet journal is not appropriate, and I might often do want to just make a note of something, I think, oh, you know, I mean to do, I need to do such and such, or oh, I wonder if I try such as, oh, I know, I wonder if that desk would fit in that corner. Yeah, that's the kind of weird thing. We all have weird ideas. First thing in the morning when you're washing your face, etc., and last thing at night when you're having a shower. Your mind's switching off, the water's lovely and warm, and you're like, oh, I remember what that woman's name was the other day, and there's all the information that you needed. I grab my phone. My phone is in a waterproof thing, so I don't have any problem with that. So it's really handy for those moments. It's also really handy because I have two dogs. I take them out for walks. They go on leads. I can't let them off because one has no recall and the other has no sense. So... I can't really juggle. I usually have a water bottle with me and my dog bag with all my bits in and the two dogs and my phone and everything else. The point is I only want to carry one book at a time. So if I'm going out sketching, for instance, I'll take my sketchbook, but not necessarily my bullet journal. So this means that if I'm out with the dogs and I have an idea or I think of something or whatever, drop it in here and later on I can worry about it. And the beauty of this for me is that it's taught me how to rapid log. This app, this app has taught me how to rapid log better than the bullet journal explanation. I've seen a lot of people and somebody messaged me this morning actually and said, I've just set up my July. I've started off July 1st. I've written my list of tasks. It's now four pages long and it's just a really long list of tasks. I must have done something wrong. What is it? And I said to her, OK, cross out where you've put July 1st, change it to July task list and start July 1st again. Because one of the things that the bullet journal examples show you over and over again. And when you see Ryder, I mean, he doesn't show his own bullet journal, I'm sure, but he shows sample bullet journals in his videos. None of them are just lists of tasks. They will be tasks interspersed with thoughts and ideas and notes and things that have happened and so on. Uh, I have noticed on his Instagram, he sometimes posts pictures of what I assume is his own journal. And never do you see more than one or two tasks right next to each other. He just doesn't do it. <laughs> and that's what I'm trying to do. If I start seeing long lists of tasks, then I feel like I'm not using the bullet journal to its full potential. I'm going to talk about that again in another video. I'm trying to keep these succinct and today we're talking about the app. But as far as rapid logging is going, every time I have an idea, a thought, an inspiration, a I wonder if, how about if I try, anything like that, whenever it crosses my mind, instead of thinking, oh, I'll remember that, but first I need to go and put the washing on, I don't do that anymore. I write it down. And what I'm finding is that the more I get out of my head that is not urgent or needs to be done right now, stuff that I can go, oh, I need to do that. So like, I need to book Maddie's appointment with the vet for her um, shots. Comes up on my Google calendar, July 1st. Maddie's shots due this month. Well, I know they're not due until the 14th, at least. So I don't need to book her in till next week. Have I written that in my bullet journal yet? No, I put it on my July task list. Monthly task, Maddie's shots due. I haven't gone straight into my daily log and put call vet to book in Maddie because I don't have to do that today. And that's where the bullet journal comes in with reflection. Now I can't really show you reflection at the moment. Oh yes I can. <laughs> By sheer coincidence my next reflection will be in one minute and 19 seconds. So you'll see what happens when reflections happen. Now any minute now I should have, there we go, bullet journal. 
Good evening, time to reflect. Be sure to migrate your log entries into your bullet journal before they expire. Now, that is a permum notification. I have tried to get rid of that notification and it doesn't go away until you actually go in to the bullet journal app. If you now go into the bullet journal app in your reflection, if there's tasks and things, it will tell you your task list. Those ones that said this expires in 48 hours, this expires in 22 and so on. And if you're very good like me and have already done it today and there are no lists in here, you get a nice quote. So today's quote is every noble work is at first impossible. Thomas Carlyle. Oh, I like that one. So I'm going to screenshot that one uh, and I'll put that in my bullet journal today. I think that's kind of cool. So if I've done my reflections, I get quotes to put in my bullet journal. And if I haven't done my reflections, then I get time to spend with my bullet journal to go through what I need to do. I've already done that today purely because I was in a coffee shop and I thought, oh, I might as well write those down while I'm here. So you mark your reflection as done. There we go. Great job, two reflections this month. So you have two reflections per day. My next reflection is in 12 hours and 54 minutes and 32 seconds. And this up here tells you when your reflections are. Now you can change this, you can disable the notifications, or you can set it so that you have an AM and PM. And you're, you, especially if you're a very early riser, you might want your AM reflection at 5 AM. And then your PM reflection, like, straight after lunch at 1 p.m. And then when you've done your p.m. reflection, you could have another one later on. Uh, so you can add reflections and you can have weekday and weekend reflections at different times. So weekends or uh, weekdays, my reflection times are 10.30 because I get up at 10 and 9.30 because I usually finish work around 9. And if I haven't finished work by nine, then I jolly well should have because that's an 11 hour day. So, yeah, I try and say, OK, it's 9.30. I'm going to cozy up on the sofa and do my bullet journal reflections. And then at the weekends, similar deal, but a, a little bit later. And you get to cross them off <laughs> on the on the. Uh... Oh, where's. Oh, I don't think I, you, I don't think you can go back to previous months, but I had a whole row of crosses off. I had one that I didn't do a reflection in the evening. And funnily enough, when I woke up the next morning, I felt really out of sorts. I was so stressed and I had a panic attack. Uh, and I do think that that was related to the fact that I didn't do my reflection the night before. As I said, I'm going to talk about reflection properly, separately, probably in the next video, actually, because reflection is really important and Mercury goes retrograde on Monday. So, yeah, it'll be really important next week and for the rest of the month. Anyway, that's the bullet journal app. And like I say, this reflection, if you're using it, whether you're using it or not, if you set up the times for your reflection, even if you don't have any tasks in there, like I didn't, you still get a notification to do a reflection and you get this nice little thing of being able to tick it off every day and go, oh, I've done that. And it doesn't matter what time you do it. You know, if I didn't, I got up a little bit late this morning because it's Monday, didn't do my re morning reflection until I got to the coffee shop. So I didn't actually do it till just before lunch, but that's okay. I still did it in the morning. It was still my first reflection of the day. The point is that you do two check-ins a day on the app and it doesn't really matter when you do it as long as you do it. So I could have done it this afternoon and then done another one and left tonight's till 2 a.m. and done it that way. It's perfectly fine. That's why having a permanent notification on the front is really useful because until you've actually gone into the app and done your reflection, you can't delete this. That's really helpful. Well, that's on iOS anyway. So that's the app. I'm enjoying it. I did not like it at first. I hated the fact that it took away after 48 hours. My inner control freak went, that's not long enough. <laughs> Actually, it is plenty long enough. My, my tasks don't stay on this list for more than, I think, 12 hours. 22 hours was the first one. And as soon as it reminded me, I thought, oh, hang on a minute. That's from yesterday. I better put that in my book. Since then, I haven't gone more than 12 hours without either doing a reflection or logging my tasks across into my book without doing a reflection anyway. That's the app and how I'm using it. 
like I say, it is not an alternative to this. It is a bolt-on. It is an extra. And I'm using it as this is going to be the very few occasions that I don't have my book with me. I'm in the shower. Obviously, my book's not going to be there. I'm out with the dogs. Book's probably not going to be with me then. Uh, that kind of thing. What I'm going to do with this as part of my indexing, uh, because it's really handy to have it all in here. I've already got things like my medical card stuff and things in Google Keep. But what I'm going to do is put them into my bullet journal in the back in a private section where it's all easily accessible. And then I'm going to take photographs of it and put it into here so that it's also on my phone in my bullet journal app and it's all together. I'm going to wrap this up because I've waffled on for long enough today. Thanks for joining me and I will see you all again tomorrow. Bye.